Howdy guys and welcome to Broke Left Stick Games unboxing of Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus. This is the third in the series from uh, Machine Games who have also brought us The New Order and The New Blood uh, all in the Wolfenstein vein. Uh, this collector's edition includes the following. 1-6 scale 12-inch BJ Blaskovitz action figure. The Elite Hans collectible box. The game disc and limited edition steel box. The pocket manual and blitz mess poster. It also includes six action figure accessories, the bomber jacket, the machine pistol, the laser craft work, the diesel craft work, the Craig's Bell hatchet, and the shock hammer X. Now those games, those items you can use in the game. And uh, these are just the physical little manifestations of them. So uh, as you can see by the back of the cover, it shows a couple Zeppelins, it shows BJ there. Uh, on the side, there's a bunch of screenshots from the game and a couple little descriptions of those. And then the other side, it just says Wolfenstein 2 as well. So we're going to slide that slip cover, get ready to see the action figure here. Here we go. And it has a little bit of a lean to it, so we're going to kind of hold it. This one we can sit down. Uh, on the back, it says Terra Billy. And it shows on the side here the five deadly weapons. And as you can see in front, we got our action figure. Uh, same thing, Terra Billy again. Has a couple little descriptions here. Bring uh, BJ Terra Billy Blaskovitz to justice with this life uh, like action figure of the most dangerous villain alive. So it's it. This is a, I guess the if the Nazis sold it. Uh, this would be their description of it. So on the back it has a, a little description there, and he's shooting a Nazi, and then it has the uh, villains on the side. So pop this open. Sit this down for a second. Put that right here. And then we'll, uh, for, for, for prosperity's sake, we'll start doing these. Uh, the first thing we'll show is a steel box. So you can see the villains on there. And on the inside here, there's actually a couple cool things. So on the inside, it has a couple inserts. No digital codes or anything. Uh, we'll get to those in a second. It also shows an airship there. That's probably like uh, the modern Zeppelin uh, from the game. So we'll set that to the side. And then this is their poster they're talking about. Now, there's a little, I have a little scrutiny here, a little nitpick. Um, I'm not a big fan when they fold up posters, but this is done in a pamphlet style. So it's, it's okay. On the back there, it has a very old comic book-esque uh, art style. That price is Blam or Kapow, but obviously in German, it's something different. And this is how to capture BJ Blaskovitz. It has a little instruction manual of how to do that and how the guns are used and so forth. So pretty cool. Um, luckily it's done in pamphlet style, so it doesn't hurt the poster. It just, uh, for aesthetic sake, it's a little sucky if you had to try to put up on the wall. One little extra cool thing here is the insert. This doesn't happen too much anymore in video games, uh, where there's actually an insert and uh, it has the old fashioned warranty information and also has like some button commands and so forth. So that's that's actually extra cool. And then it also has an insert for Prey and Evil Within 2. Gotta sell your own stuff, right? So we'll put that back in here. Slide all that in. Sit that sucker down. And then we'll get to our action figure. And it's a, a typical, it feels like Barbie length, uh, quality Barbie, you know, not as cheaply composed. And I, I tested this out on a previous one because we lost the video and he stood up actually. So there we have uh, BJ. Uh, as you can see, I'll bring him close to the camera now. I know how to get him to pose. And on the back, you got the seven and the little devil there. It's pretty cool. And that's just one of his little outfits. Stand. Stand attention, sir. Lean forward. Okay. This here is the bomber jacket he can wear. As you can see, it's, it actually has, a, this is all fur. This is actually pretty cool. They actually put some fur on there. That's kind of cool. And it, it's Velcroed open. So you can Velcro it open, Velcro it closed. Um, if you're really into like playing with them, I don't think you are. I mean, I've probably touched it more than I need to. Uh, then we have some weapons. The hatchet, which has a really cool silver line. Sometimes they forget to paint these. So it's nice that they put that little extra uh, level of little paint on the side there. Then I'll do the next painted one. Some of these are on painted. You can see that they're just molds is the, uh, this I believe is the diesel work. It's the flamethrower. Pretty cool uh, device there. And well composed, like it's a hard plastic. You're not gonna break this. 
Uh, the next one is the shotgun. That's pretty cool. It's, that's probably the shock hammer, I would guess. I might be wrong on that. Please feel free to let me know. This right here looks like an assault rifle, uh, but it also looks like a shotgun. So it's, uh, they're all very well designed, very well uh, molded, but I wish they were painted, you know, more like the colors of the end game. And that right there is the like Tommy gun-esque um, quick fire. All in all, uh, pretty cool collector's edition. I'm gonna take BJ here and put him back. I'm gonna put the uh, plastic over top again and we're gonna put him back in his action figure box. I, uh, I'm really looking forward to this game. I was a huge fan of the New Order and uh, the New Blood. Both were well done. Uh, terrific games. Before we sign off, I'd just like to do a little bit more with Wolfenstein. Um, we had a collection edition from the previous Wolfenstein, the New Order, uh, the original from 2014, and uh, said, well, we're doing the Wolfenstein 2, why don't we just show both of them, and so people can see how, uh, how cool they kind of mesh together. So Wolfenstein, the New Order, uh, came with this, it was called the Panzerhound edition. Now, the only sucky part was, it, it, this came without uh, the game. So you had to buy this separately from the Bethesda store, but we picked it up like 50 bucks at a Black Friday. And I don't know if they're still available or not, but I bet uh, BJ Blaskovitz could uh, sit on this and ride around. So it's a kind of cool, uh, just extra piece together. The Panzerhound edition also came with uh, these dog tags, um, but for 50 bucks, you just couldn't beat that. And it also had this box, numbered box, uh, with the uh, Wolfenstein, you know, uh, symbol which I thought was really really cool it's numbered and when you pop it open you're greeted to uh, informational documents uh, those are uh, shots from the game it also has uh, a steel box with a four disc so I wonder if that was an underlying thing like there's going to be another Wolfenstein after uh, the new Colossus show you that collection edition it was pretty cool and then the inside actually there's like blueprints for the different mechs in the game that's just a couple cool little things uh, that they did with the Panzerhound edition, which I thought was awesome. This right here is pretty much on the same vein as, uh, I don't want the hinges to fall on this thing. It's a little bit, uh, it wants to fall backwards. This is a little book that has just a couple stills. They did it like in a photo kind of style. And I thought that this was actually pretty awesome. But as you can see, they're glaring a little bit because of my lights, but all in all, um, a cool little just extra bonus. Uh, and then this box right here to the left that's inside was holding the Panzerhound, so I don't need to pop that out. But uh, just an extra little bonus, and this box in here also held the dog tags. So they're nice together. That's why I wanted to show this as well. And in the next coming days, sorry Panzerhound, uh, in the next few days, look forward to uh, First Impressions, hopefully. Or uh, B, if we don't do a First Impressions, we'll just do a review. Uh, I think the game is around... 12 hours long so it's one of those games you just kind of want to you want to play through and then give a review on instead of just the first impressions of it it's not an open world sandboxy take you forever to finish uh, i'm looking really forward to wolfenstein 2 and i really enjoyed the new order so if you want to see more of those uh please keep liking sharing and commenting on our uh, videos subscribing to hit that subscribe button and uh, we here at Broke Left Stick Games appreciate you stopping by, and we will see you soon. Thanks.